Yo, what's up, man? This is your boy, Y'all's Chosen One Man, doing it once again in this great, greatest book of all time. We are in Exodus chapter 29. All right, in the last chapter, we uh, talked about uh, Aaron wearing the ephod and his two chains and everything. Uh, talking about him having sons, uh, even though he's a priest. So who told the Catholic Church that you should be celibate when Aaron is the priest and he's having and he's having and he has kids so we're in chapter 29 and this is the thing that thou shalt do unto them to hollow them to minister unto them in the priest's office take one young bullock, one young bullock and two rams without blemish and unleavened bread and cakes unleavened temper with oil and wafers unleavened anointed with oil of wheat and flour that shalt thou make them and thou shalt put them into one basket and bring them into the basket with the bullock and the two rams and Aaron and his sons thou shalt bring into the door of the tabernacle of the congregation and shall wash them with water. So we got these bullocks here. They should be clean. And thou shalt take the garments and put upon Aaron the coat and the rope of the ephod and the ephod and the breastplate and gird him with the curious girdle of the, of the ephod. <coughs> and thou shalt put the mitre upon his head and put the holy crown upon the mitre then shalt thou take the anointing oil and pour it upon his head and anoint him and thou shalt bring his sons and put coats upon them and thou shalt gird them with girdles Aaron and his sons and put the bonnets on them and the priest's office shall be theirs for a perpetual statute and thou shalt consecrate Aaron and his sons. And thou shalt cause a bullock to be brought before the tabernacle of the congregation. And Aaron and his sons shall put their hands upon the head of the bullock. And thou shalt kill the bullock before Yah by the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. So, you know, a lot of bloodshed, you know, happening here. Kill the bullock. And thou shalt take all the fat that covereth the inwards, and the and the caul that is above the liver, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is upon them, and burn them upon the altar. But the flesh of the bullock and his skin and his dung shalt thou burn with fire without the camp. It is a sin offering. Thou shalt also take one ram, and Aaron and his son shall put their hands upon the head of the ram, and thou shalt slay the ram, and thou shalt take his blood and sprinkle it round about the altar. It's always something about the blood sacrifice, even when, uh, you know, when the Most High sent the plagues upon Egypt, he told them to smear the blood upon their doorposts. So, you know, you know, some something between the life force of blood is the life force of things and thou shalt cut the ram in pieces and wash the inwards of him and his legs and put them into his pieces and unto his head and thou shalt burn the whole ram upon the altar it is a burnt offering unto Yah it is a sweet savor an offering made by fire unto Yah it's a sweet savor so you know, you know, you know, Yah is spirit, but for some reason he likes this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's uh, literal or not, but he likes this savor. This whatever this incense goes up, he likes it. And thou shalt burn, okay. And thou shalt take the other ram and Aaron and his sons, and shall put their hands upon the head of the ram, and shall kill the ram and take of his blood, and put it upon the tip of the right ear of Aaron. And upon the tip of the right ear of his sons, and upon the thumb of their right hand, and upon the great toe of their right foot, and sprinkle the blood upon the altar round about. That's a bloody place, that altar, man. And thou shalt take of the blood that is upon the altar and anointing oil, and sprinkle it upon Aaron, and upon his garments, and upon his sons, and upon the garments of his sons with him. And he shall be hollowed, and his garments, and his sons, and his sons' garments with him. 
Also, thou shalt take of the ram the fat and the rump, and the fat that covereth the inwards, and the caul above the liver, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is upon them, and the right shoulder, for it is a ram of consecration, and one loaf of bread, and one cake of oil bread, and one wafer out of the basket of the unleavened bread that is before Yah. And thou shalt put all in the hands of Aaron and in the hands of his sons, and shalt wave them for a wave offering before Yah. And thou shalt receive them of their hands, and burn them upon the altar for a burnt offering, for a sweet savor before Yah. It is an offering made by fire unto Yah. And thou shalt take the breast of the ram of Aaron's consecrations, and wave it for a wave offering before Yah, and it shall and it shall be thy part. And thou shalt sanctify the breast of the wave offering, and the shoulder of the heave offering, which is waved, and which is heaved up of the ram of the consecration. Even of that which is of Aaron, is for Aaron, and of that which is for his sons. And it shall be Aaron's and his sons by statute forever from the children of Yahshua Allah, for it is an heave offering, and it shall be an heave offering for the children of Yahshua Allah. Of the sacrifice of their peace offerings, even their heave offering to Yah, and the holy garments of Aaron shall be his sons after him, to be anointed therein, and to be consecrated in them. And that son that is priest instead shall be them on seven days when he cometh unto the tabernacle of the congregation to minister into the holy place and thou shalt take the ram of the consecration and seethe his flesh in the holy place and Aaron and his son shall eat the flesh of the ram and the bread that is in the basket by the door of the tabernacle of the congregation and they shall eat those things wherewith the atonement was made to consecrate and to sanctify them but a stranger shall not eat thereof because they are holy now you see you see Yahshua Allah there, there were strangers in our congregation you know I know a lot of times you know people get on you know eat them they get on Moabites and all this but there were strangers in our congregations you know what I'm saying there were strangers that came out of Egypt with us. And, uh, you know, that's just something that you should read because I feel that somebody, you know, the whole world has been deceived, man. The whole, the whole world has been lied to because pretty much every religion out there is a fallen angel religion. And everybody's been lied to in one, in one form or the other. Now, whether people want to believe a lie or not, you know, you can tell them the truth, that's on them. But we, as being the people of the, the, um, the, um, the priesthood of the, for the Most High, it's up to us to tell them. That's all we can do is tell. And thus shall, verse 35, And thus shalt thou do unto Aaron and his sons, according to all things which I have commanded thee, seven days shalt thou consecrate them. And thou shalt offer every day a bullock for a sin offering for atonement, and thou shalt cleanse the altar when thou hast made an atonement for it, and thou shalt anoint it to sanctify it. Seven days thou shalt make an atonement for the altar and sanctify it, and it shall be an altar most holy. Whatsoever touch the altar shall be holy. Now this is that which thou shalt offer upon the altar, two lambs of the first year, day by day continually, the one lamb thou shalt offer in the morning, and the other lamb thou shalt offer at even. And with the one lamb a tenth deal of flour mingled with the fourth part of a hen of beaten oil, and the fourth part of a hen of wine for a drink offering. And the other lamb thou shalt offer at evening, and shalt do thereunto according to the meat offering of the morning, and according to the drink offering thereof. For a sweet savor, an offering made by fire unto God. He likes this, this aroma, this scent. This shall be a continual burnt offering throughout your generations. 
at the door of the tabernacle of congregation before Yah, where I will meet you to speak there unto thee. And there I will meet with the children of Yahshua Allah, and the tabernacle shall be sanctified by my glory. This is going to, he said it's going to happen forever. It's going to continue forever. So one day, man, if you act right and you are good, man, you will, we, I don't think we'll get to see him face to face, but we will see his glory. And I will dwell amongst the children of Yahshua Allah and will be their power. And they shall know that I am Yah, their power, that brought them forth out of the land of Egypt, that I might dwell amongst them. I am Yah, their power. So there you have it. Yahshua, you are, we are so blessed to have the God, not a small G, the big G of the universe on our side. Now, there's a reason why the Most High said the world is given to the hand of the wicked. Because every religious system now is a fallen angel religion. And that's a wicked religion. So, think about what the Most High says, man. He loves you, man. If we just get back to him, we're going to be fine. It's your boy, Yash Chosen One. Shalom.